Hello everybody, today we're going to learn how to start the laser tag equipment with the Android application, which we're going to test right now. Control through Android can be done by the lasertag.net operator program. It can be downloaded for free from the Google Play. This application allows you to fully automize your gameplay, and that means you can decrease the number of staff. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at connections and configurations. First, we'll need to set up our hotspot. That means we need to connect our Wi-Fi router to our power bank. We can use a simple 220 volt socket as well as a 12 volt power bank. The Wi-Fi router itself has all the necessary configurations set by default. And remember, you do not need to be connected to the internet to set up a hotspot. Now let's go ahead and connect our smartphone to the LaserTag hotspot. First, what you're going to want to do is enter the password. And the password is 2015LT2015 and save it. Hotspot configurations should only be inserted during the first connection. Now we can launch the application. During its development, we tried to make the application as easy to use as possible. Easy enough for, say, a child to use it. Let's start the game now. In order to do this, we need to turn our kits on. Our kits are already on. So we need to open the application and hit Game Room Menu. Now let's divide our game kits into teams. For this, you want to click Red Team. Once that opens up, you'll select the necessary kits. Once you've done that, press OK. You'll want to do the same thing for Blue Team. Open it, click, and press OK. Having split the players into two teams, let's now go to the main menu. To do this, to access the main menu, you can click the top left-hand button or slide to the right. Now we can set the duration of the game. Let's set it for 15 minutes. The same menu features a delay start button. By accessing this, we can delay the start of the game even further. This makes the game even more autonomous. These simple steps are enough to start the game. Now all you have to do is hit the play button in the same menu. Now let's see how the kits work by shooting our opponent. As we can see on the screen, the player's been hit. Seems all the functions are working properly. So let's take a look at some other features, shall we? Let's open scenarios. You do this by clicking the menu button and then clicking scenarios. We have ready-made templates, all of which can be modified, but you can also create your own. These are the parameters that we should be concentrated on. When you want to edit the parameters of a given scenario, you're going to want to click the icon just to the right of the name. This will open up the editor and then you'll be able to adjust the parameters. Using the first tab, we can open up the game finish conditions. By opening up the second tab, teams, we can choose to apply this to all the teams or individual ones. Let's go ahead and choose general settings. By doing this, we can edit the scenario in more detail. Such features as number of lives, turning on or off friendly fire, the intensity of the infrared beam, and many other features. All these features allow us to easily configure game settings. Now let's go ahead and save this. Once it's saved, we can go to Add Devices. Once you click on that tab, you'll be able to add such devices as the Sirius Station or the Smart Domination Box. And here you see, we have it. In our next video, we'll talk in more detail about controlling other devices. Now, back in Scenarios, we can create our own by pressing the Create Your Own Scenario button. Once we're in there, we can name it and uh, change all the parameters that we would like. 
and if we don't like it, we can delete it later. The widely functional scenario configurator gives us the ability to edit necessary parameters in the special editor. Create unique scenarios so that not even your regular customers get bored. We can also customize individual player settings by going to the game room and clicking on the gamer's icon. By doing this, you're able to change the role of the player and customize individual kits. For example, we can make one player a sniper by increasing his damage and decreasing the rate of fire. We can also use medkit, respawn, and radiation to directly affect individual game kits during the game. We can also take a game kit out of the game if we notice one of the players is cheating. By simply pressing pause or delete, we can do this action. With one click, we can change and make a unique role for an individual player. There's six presets, and with either one of these, you can change that role. Personal settings allow us to change the roles of individual players in an infinite number of ways. This makes the game more unique and capturing. The main feature of the laser tag game is acquiring all of the game values. And you do this by clicking on the main menu and game statistics. Once we're in player statistics, we can see in the table tab not only death and shots and damage applied, but other statistics as well. Follow the changes of the game process comfortably by switching over to player statistics. Now, you do this by clicking the Desk tab. In this tab, we can see the ranks and achievements of the players during and based on their performance of the game. Each player can judge for himself his own successes and failures to see how he can better perform in the game. This application allows you to save statistics, print them on special letterheads, and share them on social networks. And you can do all of this immediately after the game. LaserTag.net Operator application reveals new opportunities for both players and instructors. It is quick and easy to control the game with this smart app from anywhere in your club. That means you don't need to stay in one place anymore. You will get all these features such as remote control, scenario configurator, and detailed kit configurator for each game kit, and many other features. And all you have to do is download the app in the Play Market. That's it. Watch our second video on our channel. The second video will be about how to control the laser tag equipment from a PC application. So follow us on social media, and we'll see you at our next video from lasertag.net.